I lift my eyes toward the mountains. Where will my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to slip. Your protector will not slumber. Indeed, the protector of Israel does not slumber or sleep. The Lord protects you. The Lord is a shelter right by, right by your side. The sun will not strike you by day or the moon by night. The Lord will protect you from all harm. He will protect your life. The Lord will protect your coming and going both now and forever. Amen. Well, as most of you know, <laughs> if you've known your your psalms or maybe if you grew up uh, in the 80s in the church with with that with that praise course i lift my eyes up up to the mountains where does my help come from yeah you, you know that one um this is psalm 121 this is one that uh, we use often at funerals uh, we'll use it often uh, at at times of mourning we use it often uh, in hospital visitation, all these different things. Why? Because it's a pronouncement of God's promise to you. That he, he says, I lift my eyes toward the mountains. Where will my help come from? That there, there's almost an illusion here of at, the, at a particular time in the history of Israel, they would build altars and, and uh, places of prayer, these high places as they'd be talked about in the Old Testament. And all these holy hills, assuming that somehow at the top of that mountain was where God was going to be. Because that's, that's our nature. We're always looking for where God is. And, and so here, this, this question, I, I lift my eyes towards the mountains. Where will my help come from? Looking at all these mountains all around Jerusalem that's surrounded by mountains, thinking, okay, all these people are praying on all these different places. Uh, is my help going to come from there? And the response is, no, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The, the one who made the mountain is the one from whom my help is going to come from. Not the mountain or, or that place that we've considered holy, that we've set apart on top of that mountain. No, our, our, our salvation, our redemption, our deliverance, our help comes from the Lord himself. Not from some place that we deem uh, safe or set apart or holy. Not from some mountain that we're supposed to that we're supposed to trust in. And then it's this this psalm of of protection. It's a, it's part of the song of a sense. I think we've done this one before when we were going through the various psalms. Uh, prior to starting to kind of go through what it is that we're studying. And this is actually going to be uh, our first reading for Sunday. It says, He will not allow your foot to slip. Your protector will not slumber. Footing, having your foot footing slip uh, is, is this picture of uneasiness, an uneven ground, bringing you out actually on, on flat land without any issues, without any gravel to cause you to, to fall. Indeed, the protector of Israel does not slumber or sleep. The fact that God is watching over you, even while you sleep, that God is with you. The Lord protects you. The Lord is a shelter right by your side, or is your shelter at your right hand. The right hand being this picture of, of power, of, of uh, redemption in and of itself, because it would normally be the sword hand, right? And so you would use that to fight off your enemies. Well, God being that shelter at your right hand, being the one who is fighting for you. The sun will not strike you by day or the moon by night. This is actually a difficult psalm, right? Because it tells us that our feet are not going to slip, that, that God doesn't slumber, that he watches over you, that he protects you, that he's at your right hand, that your, the sun will not strike you by day or the moon by night. Well, those of us who live in the desert know you get sunburned rather easily. Um, it's not a, not a declaration of protection that nothing bad will ever happen to you. Ever. It's like that line in Finding Nemo where, where Marlin says to Dory, well, I promised that nothing would ever happen to him. And Dory says, well, that's a dumb promise. <laughs> 
because he promises that nothing will ever happen to him, then nothing will ever happen to him. This, this, this idea that there's going to be things that are going to come. There's going to be difficulties. There are going to be trials. But we're told that God neither slumbers nor sleeps. That the sun is not going to overtake you. That the sun is not going to be a weapon to destroy you. That the sun is not something that for you to fear. The Lord will protect you from all harm. He will protect your life. This is an interesting one, right? Because all of us know somebody who's died. Even, even we ourselves may be on our deathbeds here. And so we sit here and we go, well, wait, 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 wait. I, I've prayed this prayer before and so-and-so died. That person prayed that prayer and they died. Uh, the, the, the psalmist who wrote this prayer died, <laughs> is buried, his bones now long, probably dust. The Lord protects you. The Lord is a shelter right by your side. That is what we hold on to. So when it says he'll protect you from all harm, will protect your life, we hold on to the reality that even when death comes, it is not death. That our life is in the hands of God so that we will live forever because he lives, because Christ lives, because Christ has defeated death, that death will soon be underneath his feet as he sits at the right hand of the Father and we will join him in that heavenly banquet. So that even when harm comes to us, even with, when the ends of, of our days come to us, we can trust that when our life ends, it doesn't really end. The Lord will protect your coming and going both now and forever, meaning he's there from the day you took your first breath to the day you take your last and thereafter, forever. He is with you. He is an eternal God. And so his work in you is an eternal work done for the sake of your life, that he might be your life. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, deliver us, we pray, from all manner of evil, whether it touch our body or soul, property or good name. And at last, when the hour of death shall come, grant us a blessed end and graciously take us from this veil of sorrow to yourself in heaven. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. While church, go in peace. Serve the Lord and we will see you tomorrow.